offered limitations to these rights? You know, like I said, as long as you are within your rights, if your activities are activities that are going to cause harm to your neighbor, to your fellow Nigerian, then the government will have to step in. So that is it, basically. Any activity that you do that is inimical to your neighbor or to the nation at large, yes, you can lose you can lose your, your rights. If you take a property that does not belong to you, that person has a right to his property. If you forcefully or illegally, then even you, you can lose your right. The person has a right to prove him, to go and take his matter to court, to ask for justice so that he can get his rights at least restored fully. And we, you have a right, even as a Nigerian, as a fellow Nigerian, to look out for your neighbor. So if you find out, for instance, I will use the example of somebody who has a maid, and you find out that the maid is always screaming or crying or something, you discover that the, the madam or the master is somehow, you know, dealing with the, the maid or the houseboy in a way that is not right. Why would, the, why would the boy or the girl be crying all the time? You want to find out. You have a right to report to the police to say, look, there's somebody who walks next door, and all the time we hear beating and the child's crying and all of that. You have a right to protect that person as well. So you report to the police and the police will, will go in and investigate. If not, I mean, you don't know what can happen to the child. The child might end up being dead. Maybe the child is being um, sexually abused or physically abused or mentally abused, tortured in one way or another. So, you know, you have to look out for, for your neighbor. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. My pleasure.